Hey YouTube, welcome back to a special episode of the Lincoln Williams Show. My name is Lincoln Williams, and today I'm going to be doing another My Thoughts uh, on a portable system. Now, I know I'm like rampaging on these videos, but I've, I have found another really cool product from Sony. Now, I know... Some of you guys hate the Vita. Some of you guys don't really th like think that the Vita shouldn't be like a perfect, um, what was the word? A perfect portable gaming console. Um, for me, uh, the Vita is like one of the most strongest portable gaming consoles. I mean, no offense to the 2DS or the 3DS, but the Vita has a really strong impact on the video game community. Now, here's some of the reasons why. Number one, the Vita could play like, you know, PlayStation, uh, PlayStation Vita games, PSP games, and PS1 games from the store. So if you download the PS Vita games through the store, then it'll actually, like, work, basically. Um, then some games will work when you download them. It's just going to be getting a little bit... You just got to get used to them a little bit. Um, number two. Uh, what's the, the second feature of the F B PS Vita is uh, PlayStation Plus. If you have a PS3, a PS4, and a PS Vita combined with a PlayStation Plus membership, you can get like a really ton, like a really great value value out of your game gaming collection. That is one of the best, the biggest, you know, you know, sickest things about the Vita right now is that you can get like tons of games with the Vita, with your PS Plus membership. The third, th third and final thing on here, what this features on the Vita, this has got to be one of the most best things about the Vita ever produced by Sony. This thing got me sold on the Vita. Now, you know how, how I've been talking about getting a PS4? Well, I'm getting a PS4 in August 5th. I'm going to order a PS4 on August 5th with Batman Arkham Knight. I'll be doing an unboxing video for it on August 7th when it comes in uh, later uh, uh, in August. So... Uh, one of the, the biggest features about the Vita is the uh, with the Vita and the PS4, you can do remote play. Now, what this features is the remote play feature allows you to connect with your PS4 and PS Vita. Well, you can only connect it, uh, the Vita through the PS4. Um, and in some ways, but uh, the PS4, what Remote Play does is that you can play all, I repeat, all PS4 games with the, with the Vita. I mean, this actually is kind of a bad feature in some ways. Well, there's one flaw to this feature. So, let's say... You wanted to play your PS4 games while on the road. Well, you can't do that unless you get a 3G phone or a 4G phone. Basically, that has built-in Wi-Fi capability. That is one of the most, you know, ridiculous things I've ever, like, heard of. Like, connecting your PS4, like, on a hot, hot spot like phone, well, you can actually connect your Vita with the hotspot phone, 
but that's going to cost a lot of money. So if you wanted to save money while doing that, then just don't get a phone and don't pay for the Verizon fees. Um, so that's why I'm not doing that. I'm not paying for the phone fees. I don't like pho using phones all that much. Even though I'm using my phone to record video, it just doesn't have 3G capability. Um, well, basically, what I'm trying to say is you can't play PS4 games while in the car. You can't do that. You have to basically connect the PS4 and the PS Vita through Wi-Fi. Uh, and you can do this in many different locations. If your PS4 is right here, then you can be in New York, then you can be like at Wisconsin over here, and then you can transfer it uh, if you're connected to Wi-Fi uh, in these local spots and play your PS4 games that way. Now, another bad feature about this is you cannot switch out the PS4 discs with this feature. I mean, it wouldn't make a lot of sense because you left your PS4 at home with the disc in it still in and now you have no way to switch out the discs for like, say, if you were playing Diablo 3, then you wanted to play Watch Dogs on a, you know, formatted, like, disc, and you, like, wanted to f switch it out. You can't switch it out. So that's the only bad feature about this is, but all your downloadable titles will be playable on the Vita. It looks great. It sounds great. And it is great. It's like one of the best. It's one of the best uh, features about the PS4 is uh, remote play with the Vita. Now let's talk games with the Vita. Okay. Um. First off, Vita titles. We got Uncharted: Golden Abyss, which is another Uncharted game that I hope to play. In the future, when I get my Vita, Borderlands 2. Woohoo! Borderlands fans, it is time to get portable with the PlayStation Vita. The Borderlands 2 is on uh, is available with a bundle with the PS Vita. So if you wanted to get a Vita, then you can shop on Amazon uh, and get your own copy of Borderlands 2 with the Vita. Only at, at $187. Yeah. That's how much it costs for a Vita. Um, well, let's see what else. What are the games? Assassin's Creed 3 Liberation. It's not one of the best Assassin's Creed games that I ever looked at. But hey. It's Assassin's Creed on a portable device. Yay! Good for sh good for Sony. Anyways, um, news updates. Um, oh yeah, when I get my PS4, I'm also gonna get another game with it. Well, actually, I'm gonna get like like three more games, but you know, the one is gonna be based on my decision and all that stuff. Um. Uh, no, the two games that I'm going to be getting for sure is from a friend. I'm going to be renting them from him um, for as long as I want and uh, as long as I like finish them and all that stuff. Um, I'm going to be renting um, Watch Dogs and Infamous Second Son, which are really both great titles. So thank you, Chris, for letting me borrow those. Um, I mean, as soon as I get my PS4, as soon as I order it, so. Um, another thing about the Vita, uh, another titles on the PS4 that I'll be getting is, you already know, Batman Arkham Knight, which I'll be getting with the PlayStation 4. And I'll be ordering another game for you guys. Um, now, this is like my choice. Basically, these two games, like, went on sale on Amazon. So, I don't know which one I should get. 
or should I wait? Like, um, I want to start out a play, uh, should I get, like, Assassin's Creed Unity or Far Cry 4? One of my uh, Paul's Market employees said that I should get uh, Far Cry 4 because it has more stuff to do in it. Um, so, and the biggest thing about the PS4, why you should get excited about the unboxing video, is I'll be taking you the things, what you get in the box, and all that. But the biggest feature of the play PS4 is not remote play, but to record your own high definition gameplays and post them to YouTube. What? That is the most ridiculous thing I have ever heard. Period. It is the most ridiculous thing I have ever heard. And, you know, just to like see Sony like give us that feature of the PS4 this show is going to go through the roof of my gameplays and I mean I hope it becomes popular I hope it com becomes popular with my you know maybe Assassin's Creed uh, Unity videos or Far Cry 4 gameplays and uh, I mean that's going to be really cool and I get, um, if I'm lucky enough, I get to have a, um, uh, a mic that Sony, uh, like, gives me for free. And, um, basically, uh, you'll be able to hear my voice, uh, like this, like, like you're hearing right now. Um, like, it's like the same quality as your voice that you're, that you're hearing right now. I think it's going to be like the same thing on the microphone, on the PS4 headset, but I'm not sure. I'm going to do a couple of test runs, see if it runs good, good on the uh, start menu. And then, uh, I'll present to you with some. Uh, gameplay on, Asa on Assassin's Creed or Far Cry, which game I'll get. But uh, there's no doubt that I am getting um, Batman Arkham City. If you want to see some Batman in action, maybe I'll do that first. But uh, it's it's actually a really hard thing to do for deciding for decisions and all that stuff. Um, so yeah, that's all the things that I have to say about the PS Vita with the remote play. It's actually a really cool design because you can play any PS4 game on the Vita. It's a really sick trick to do. Um, and uh, oh yeah, there's also like going to be like, um, what do you call it? Button configuration for each game. So each game is going to be like feel right at home when you're playing on the Vita. It, there are going to be different controls for many specific types of games. But that's how Sony d originally designed it for the Vita. So um, yeah, this is actually a really big deal in gaming YouTubers. You have no idea how I'm really excited to get my PS4 on August 5th order it on August 5th, and get it on August 7th. Um, so, yeah, um, I am really excited. Um, I hope, now, there is a slight chance that I'll be doing gameplays on the PS4 with other people, like my brother, for instance, and my best foot buddy, uh, Chris, from Paul's Market, not uh, not, uh, this Chris that you see on this show, but, um, th uh, this other guy, uh, this other Chris that I met at Paul's Market, he has a PS4 and he is delighted to play something with me online, like, every night, and, uh, maybe I'll record it on YouTube and stuff and maybe he'll, maybe pick up his voice and you can hear us chatting and, you know, doing all that really cool stuff on YouTube. 
So, yeah, that is the biggest feature of the PS4. And you can also do this on the Xbox One, I heard. Um, but I don't think my GameStop is letting... My uh, my game store is letting us record gameplays. <laughs> it would be quite ridiculous. Um, but... Overall, it, this is a really exciting feature, you guys. This is one of the most sickest features that I've ever, like, had with the next-gen consoles. And I hope that this show is going to boost through the roof. Um, and I'm going to be screaming during the unboxing. And I'm going to be like, yes! My PS4 is finally here, so all that cool stuff. It should be a really exciting video, and I hope it's really exciting for you guys on YouTube as well. So, uh, yeah, uh, be sure to look forward to those gameplays on the PS4. It's going to be really sick to hear my voice commentating and saying some stuff throughout the gameplay and all that stuff. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be really exciting when I, when I get my PS4, guys. I'm excited. You should be excited. We're all excited for me to get the, to the PS4. And I should mention, I think this is your fine. This is your reward for getting me this far in the Lincoln Williams show. So um, yeah, that is your reward um, because you have worked so hard telling your friends about this show and supporting it and. I mean, this is your, your reward. More gameplay footage of all the games on the PS4. That is going to be really sweet. And I hope it works out for you guys here on YouTube. So, yeah. I cannot wait to send you some Assassin's Creed footage. Or Far Cry 4 for footage. Or Watch Dogs footage. Or infamous Second Son footage. Or Planet Side 2 is for free on the PlayStation 4. So I cannot wait to jump into that. And, you know, take over bases. All that really cool stuff. And it's going to be amazing. The PS4 is going to be the biggest installment on the Lincoln Williams show. So I hope to see you all next time here on the Lincoln Williams Show. And uh, yeah, it's going to be really exciting, YouTubers. I'll be back someday, someday, YouTubers.